go. Everybody, welcome to the PBO. I'm Soren Flying here with Aiden and Ben. Yo, yo, yo. Hey. And we're watching Cass versus Dawn, Charleston versus Salt Lake, Salandits, I think. Yeah, I'm right. But yeah, I'm right. I'm always right. We're, I am, well, let me talk about that. But uh, Don said pregame, <laughs> he didn't want the cloister or breaks in to come, and look at that, both of them came. They're yeah. both here. I think Don's going to win this game 5 0, if I had to guess. <laughs> uh, wow. Strong words coming from Ben. I will say, though, uh, Cloister does kind of smash him. Five of these Pokemon lose to Cloister, so that Empoleon needs to have Roar. Even then, it has draw runs, so... Don yeah. looking to stay undefeated, 2-0, and Cass looking for their first win, 0-2. Tough start. <laughs> Dude, Kuma. I don't know if they're still waiting for, like, a launch. Okay, Lando T. Alright, there's Landorus, Azelf. Azelf doesn't get Ice Beam. I keep remembering over it and over. It gets Ice Punch, though. though. Yeah, but the attack is down, so... <laughs> but... <laughs> yeah, if only you were Terra Ice. So I think this is a pretty free U-turn for this Lando. Oh, for sure. Is this going to be just Azov probably... click Psychic 300 times until something comes in and call mines in front of it? I mean, yeah. Enam, and not Enam, Empoleon can come in on Azov, like... Yeah, Thon has, like, actual psychic immunities. So there's oh. the U-turn there. Probably another U-turn, maybe a knockoff on the Dawn side. I think knock or U-turn is pretty free here. Yeah, I mean, maybe he could click Stealth Rocks, but, I mean, Cyclozar's right there. I wouldn't recommend it. This thing, uh, he has an extra... Because uh, I'm assuming Cloister's the win con. Uh, she doesn't really have, like, a great switch in. Like, I don't know what you want to bring in on the, the Lando. Yeah, Cyclozar. Ooh, Earthquake would have 2-hit KO'd. I think Earthquake could have just straight up 1-hit KO'd, depending on investments and, and, and such. Cyclozar's that? Yeah. Like, not bulky? Cyclozar's not that bulky. Oh my god. I, I'm, I'm Cyclozar's not very bulky, especially on the physical defense, because Spidef, it, like, resists all the main, like, special attacking types, and it usually runs Assault Vest, so it, looks, a, yeah. it looks fatter than it actually is. Yeah, it can it can run assault vest really really well because it always either wants to be clicking spin U turn or like clicking Draco or overheat or Iron Head or something. Oh, yeah, or knock off something like that because Sagazar yeah, does have Sagazar does have impressive coverage. Um, why does Cass have a thing next to their name? If you click on users, what does that mean? Locked. What does that mean? What? Click on click on ten users. They have something next to their name. It says locked. <laughs> Oh yeah, I don't know who. I see what you're talking about. Though. I think it's a. Uh, I think it means she has. She's something on showdown. Maybe I don't know. Cool. That's neat. I'm not Her sure. Counts locked. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, anyways, this is gonna be a moon blast. Oh, yeah. I assume. Um, there's no switching other than breaks in, so it has to be breaks in. I mean, yeah, Enid does get earth power, so if you really wanted to, you could straight up just EP, because nothing else wants to take it. Right? How much does that do to this thing? Uh, it'll do like sixty. I would have to go. I mean, Cyclozar can't uh, maybe, do shit Maybe right 50. Now. It depends on if the Cyclozar is AV. Let's go for EP, then. Free. Free. So to max HP, max Spadef, EV Elite breaks in. A Specs Earth Power would do like... Oh yeah, my okay. god! Out of this park. It's dead. <laughs> Bye, Azel. Yeah, Specs Moonblast kind of like does a lot of damage to everything. Jeez. However, if it's max HP, max but death breaks in, uh, it eats Moonblasts for yeah. breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> I got you, I would have used it right there. Uh, yeah, but Earth Power, if it's from Specs, would do 68 to 80. So, so that as of being gone, oh boy. Yeah, I mean, like I said, the only way Cass is ever going to win this game is with Cloyster, so it doesn't really matter if the other five are dead. Cloyster just has to have a chance uh, to win. Cause it, it, it probably won't, but we'll see. Watch it be Superpower, contrary physical enam again. <laughs> yeah, from this time in the Sunset Diff. <laughs> Landorus, Landorus can't switch in, so... 
Give me Cloyster right now. That's not gonna happen. Give me Sash, Cloyster, Shell Smash, maybe run this up. Yeah, it's gonna be Shadow Sneak to see July, I have to imagine. I uh, use up yeah. so. For the, for the Focus Sash. Uh, Cloyster. Enam. Enam on Enam. Hot Enam on Enam action. I imagine Donk will just stay in and click Moonblast again and say who cares. I mean, yeah, if this is Specs Enam right back, then that does 67 to 80. Right, with Sludge cool. Bomb? Uh, that's with Moonblast. Sludge Bomb surely kills if that's with Moonba Moonblast. Sludge Bomb is a roll to kill, 37% chance. Terra Fairy, substitute, oh, what are we going for? Moonblast! And okay. Nothing there. So we know it's not Specs. That's good. <laughs> How much does Breaks and Take from Terra Fairy Moonblast? 36 to 42. Damn. Um, With Eevee like damn. I think this thing can actually sit here and click Moonblast until it dies, and I think it's going to kill four Pokemon in the process. I think so too, yeah. Because Breaks and doesn't really touch it back, like... Yeah, even if Brightson comes in, just spam it. He yes, might actually run out of Moonblast on the wishes. Well, I don't know. Does Brightson get Mirror Coat? Uh, I don't know. Maybe? I mean, it's not Psychic type yet, so maybe not. It but... does not get it. Oh, well, then but yeah. But I'm, I'm assuming what's going to happen here is a Moonblast into a Lycanroc like, Stone Edge, and that's going to be how he kills this. But he's going to lose his Enamors in the process. I, mean, here's like, I think as long as Enam trades for two or three things, I think that's exactly what Don wants. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm almost, yeah, like I said, I'm pretty sure Don's going to win this. Just keep on, no clicking, just keep on clicking Moonblast. And then you can just run Imp on the Cloister and just, like, if you're Shooka, then, like, you know, you can pretty easily uh, live a drill one, I'd assume, from plus two. Especially if you're Fizz Def. And then, I don't know, I don't necessarily know what you do back, but... This is. Hmm. I think Cass is just trying to think about this here. Don's path is pretty straightforward. Yeah, Don click Moonblast. Cass of the Yeah, I don't. I don't think Don is really thinking a lot uh, here. Speed forty-seven. Okay, forty-seven. No special attack drop. Yeah, right, so lucky rock. Down. Lucky rock time. You got to hit the Stone Edge. Well, Roy Moon Go just became him. Roy Moon just became free. Everybody. Yeah, I mean, I guess, like like we said, the cloister is, like, how you win. If it's Icicle Spear, Rock Blast, Drill Run, and the Empoleon is Shookaberry. It gets fucked on. Cloister probably the last mod out, right? Yeah, last spell of Cloister, so you can't get roared. Do we have paste? Do we think something has mirror herb? I do not have any pastes. No, I don't have anything. Maybe Don ran mirror herb on something. That'd be really cool. Shut out Don if you did. If you didn't, don't shut out Don. I'm I guess you. I guess out. you could. Yeah, run mirror herb. I think Mirror Herb Moon would be crazy. <laughs> I mean, just hear me out, man. Especially because you'll get one hit KO'd by fucking Ice Shard if he has it. That would be a tough scene. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Enam it, one. It'd be funny, though. I don't know. I, Cass is taking a while to think. It, it's like in a rock. You gotta hit the Stone Edge. If you go, I guess breaks it if you have like Fire Spin and can passively do damage. Breaks like, in, you heal. if you want to like weaken it, then like yeah, you could do that and then go like rock and like a Cella Rocket, right? Like could if be a play. Really yeah, if you really don't want to lose uh, the Stone Edge. Because like one flamethrower into in a Cella Rock kills. So like. Even then, Breakson can just out damage the Enam and like kill it, you know, and like still maintain most of its health with Wish. So I think you could do that too, like a couple flamethrowers to kill it. Like I'm not sure how. Like, there's light and rock angle. So they're gonna go for the Stone Edge, or if they have Iron Head, they could both could be Sash. Probably not, but. Sip, sip, sip. 
Lycanroc could be Sash, I guess, but, like, it doesn't really get any setup that it, like... I mean, it could click Swords Dance. Yeah. But you kind of... Uh, if it's Choppel and Polyon, you kind of get goobed, but... And like Ben said, uh, he I mean, would hopefully have Shadow goobed. Sneak. I don't think you set up here. I think you just kill this thing. Yeah. You gotta hit the Stone Edge, though. If you don't hit what? the Stone Edge, I think this thing actually kills five. Does Don switch down to Lando here? Or a bad idea? No, uh, I, I, Stone I Edge think... is gonna do, like... Through the minus one, Stone Edge is gonna do, like, 50. I think this Enam has done its job. I think you just click Moonblast here. Yeah, just sack. And and just say, all right, hit your move or like, you know. <laughs> Seems to be an enamorous T sized hole in your team. Damn, That's wild. bait That's join wild and type that so quick. <laughs> Turn five, too, and there's two mons dead. Yeah, Turn um, 5, 11 minutes in. in. We go That's Lando T. Wow. Drill run. Oh, drill run. No good. Dude. Bad drill play. Doesn't um, kill get, there. Into Psych. That at all. No Oko. Yeah, but and then there's Earthquake. I F Just keep clicking at Earthquake so free. Is yep. this a Scarf Lando? It could be. That'd be kind of cool. Um, well, Azelf outsped it. So okay, unless the Azelf is Scarfed... Which I don't see any reason to, unless you want to really focus on killing Moon. Then I, like... mean, I think what you do here is you click um, Draco, click... whatever your you click whatever your strongest move is with Cyclozar. Does it Lando? Uh, the Lando should click U-turn actually, because it kills Cyclozar. If it's not choice, yeah. I mean, I yeah, don't see it's... why you don't just click Earthquake here, especially if you're scared. because if you kill because if you kill the Cyclozar, the Cloister comes out, and that's like one of the best chances for the Cloister. Is you're Lando. not scarfed, there's Cloister. Alright, so now the game's over, because he let Cloister take this damage for no reason. Cloister has a very good chance to kill here if it's Adamant with Icicle Spear. Yeah, no, Spear. Cloister will kill with Icicle Spear, but he doesn't have, like, a prime setup opportunity anymore. True, yeah. With now, you, now you have to kill this thing or something takes a Moonblast. Something's gotta Earth be Power would also kill, too, so, like... Yeah, I think, that, yeah, if they have Earth Power, they should click it four times. Yeah, Earth Power just kind of goobs this team as well. You don't even need to click Moonblast here. You can just click Earth Power. Both of the amenities are going. <laughs> we all, everyone sees the angle. Two. Ten. Three. Whoa, four. You have skill eleven. Like gonna get it. Okay. All right. Mm. One mon Where's dead. But I, the issue is the cloister didn't get the um the setup boost. Yeah, didn't get the shell smash. So it's, do it's you? Over. No, never mind. If it's if it's Viz Def Decidui, can you live and kill? The answer is probably not. I was I gonna say, go what if he goes Lando to eat the wider right Polyon, now? Just go Polyon to be just fair. Go, just go and Polyon. You know. And Polyon, click flash cannon. Or knock off. Oh, no. You're not... You're probably not faster. Don't be that faster. Flash oh, Cannon has a very good chance to kill. Yeah, I know. Cloister Spin F is in the gutter. It's ass. But it's Fizz Def is through the roof. For yeah, it no. Is. It has like 180 Fizz Def. And cheese! Cloister has strength advantage. I imagine this is going to be Cyclozar. No. Yeah. Yeah. Flash yep, there's Flash Cannon. It doesn't this kill. This Cyclozar takes a fuckload of damage every turn. All right, this should be a knockoff from the Cyclozar. Click it again, and Bullion, click it again. I think you could just straight up be like, I think you could just go Landorus and then click you. Yeah, there's the knockoff. All right, there goes the Shuka. Shuka. Now Cloyster has a chance. If Cloyster can get the turn, it has a chance. I'm going to be honest. I think if I'm Shuka, I preserve that berry there. I, I, think, yeah, I, think, I think that is a potentially game... I don't think he's going to lose, but I think that is a potentially game-losing play, letting the Shuka get knocked off. Because if Cloyster gets the Shell Smash now at any point, it does just win. If it's if it's Drill Run, uh, Icicle Spear, Rock Blast. Like, yeah, if, you look at the, if you look at the six months left, it does literally just win. So now this is in. probably a CC coming out, if I had to guess... But now Lando. So let's see. Oh, this is you. Into the you okay. Eat the CC. Um. Yeah. Uh, 
what's it called? Zaw sees it as well, the way. Oh, well, he doesn't. <laughs> There, there was, there is a way to win this. It involves Cloister being shell smashing those three specific moves. Oh, Holy crunch. crap! Wow. Lando comes back out. Lando can just click EQ. I think you sack this. You go Cloister. You click shell. Sm no, 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 no. All right. Tough luck. Bad. It's Jover now. Unless it's Scarf Cloister this whole time. That no. Napoleon. Shell smash. Never. No shell smash. If you shell smash there on the prediction. Om nom nom eats it up. Alright, does he have the drill run? So at plus two, fun fact, if it didn't take that three, six, nine, twelve. No, it doesn't even have drill run, so there's no there was nothing into this anyways. Four. Five. This is gonna be a roost, maybe. Ah, just just kill it. Just kill the just kill the wind con. Yeah. Alright, like in rock. Because like a rock dust doesn't outspeed Roaring Moon, so Roaring Moon does just win this endgame. Yeah, Roaring Moon can easily just win this. CC. Yeah, that's fine. So it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna be closer, but it's not really. It wasn't really that close in reality. Yeah, Roaring Moon, and you click knock off two times. The booster attack breaks in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. breaks in never even hitting the field. Breaks in, please. <laughs> All right. Yep, oh, that's God. just gonna kill two. Oh God, breaks in. Is this, is this breaks in Terra? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, probably. Yeah. It's like fire, water, grass. I don't know. I have no idea what it is. No fairy. Um. SLS I'm looking for. Breaks in is... It is fire, psychic, fairy, ice. Okay, so it can be fairy. If you're fairy, click it. If it's fairy, will-o-wisp, there's a chance. Terra ice. 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 What? Terra blast doesn't kill. Okay. I mean, Dawn's team is weak to ice. Besides the right. cryo and long story short. Yes. Uh, Cloister with shell smash had a chance, but she kept bringing it in on Lando. Has like a Lando answer. Mm -hmm. Didn't really work. Unfortunate, but What's that'll it? take us. To a Don Dub in the final match of Sunset Week 3. We'll see y'all next week.